Okay, welcome. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome, Kenya. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I am super good, actually. Energetic. You? How are you? <laughs> no, I am tired, teacher. <laughs> oh, fake it. Fake it. Okay. <laughs> Just fake it. Maybe your brain will. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I feel okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It, it, it works. Don't believe her, teacher. It's a lie. Nah. It's a joke. <laughs> no, it's true. No. no. It is. Teacher, teacher I, I, I will tell you something. Tell me something. Go. <laughs> Lo Lorena is, is spoke with the gringo. Gringa. <laughs> Gringa or gringo? Today. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Tell In me. The interesting, world. interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, but Kenya, <laughs> uh, she spoke, but she spoke very. Uh, the the I don't remember how to say. Shy, shy. Uh, oh. um, yes, shy, I know. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yes also, no. she almost. Well, maybe the gringa, maybe <laughs> she didn't listen her because. She spoke low. I don't remember how to say. Mm, low voice, you mean? Yeah, yeah. low voice. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Ah. All right. So the gringa. I was nervous. Yes. <laughs> it it happens. I have seen it, but it's a good experience because now you know what you want to do, right? And you recognize, hey, it's okay. It's just communication. And so tell me what, what was it about? What did you talk about? Of course, if it's confidential, no. But what did you talk about? Mm, no, uh, we was. Con... We were. We were. Right? <laughs> yes. Uh, we. We was. Uh, we were. Computer. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. We were. I'm sorry, sorry. Remember, we it's, were... it's a plural. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Go, go. Sorry. We were. Um, Configure, configure. Set up. We are. We Very were even. set up. Of maybe set up. We, yes. Hey, what's up, Frank? No. We were configuring. You said something we with were IT. Configuring. Yes. Oh. The oh. the zoom the zoom room. Uh, zoom. And room. we. Zoom. Yes. And we needed the. Communicate with the with concentrics, and the and she live. I I think that in the USA. I don't know <laughs> because it, it's green. And she helped to us in the morning to to set up the the Zoom room. She helped us in the morning. Nice. Yes, she helped cool. us. Okay, so this was in Zoom or in presence, right? In Zoom. <laughs> oh, in Zoom. I mean, sorry, it could probably you say it through Zoom, through Zoom or via Zoom. So the meeting was via Zoom, and that's how you met. Via yeah, Zoom, yes, correct. Oh, okay, no, no need to be shy. Look, you are talking here with. Well, only eight people, but sometimes we have twenty people here, and you yes, speak a I lot. Tell her, no yes, I tell her. <laughs> I tell her, teacher, 
that uh -huh. she in the class is really a nice spe a speaker speaker but today i don't know what happened to her oh you told her that well <laughs> you spoke a lot about that that's interesting so cool sometimes sometimes <laughs> That's nice. Excellent experience. Like when you go in real life, especially for work, I mean, you really experience, I mean, the communication with somebody else that they do not do not speak your language. Remember? Sophisticated Spanish. Recording in progress. I think it's pretty amazing. Anyway, welcome everybody else. Uh, Esmeralda, Brenda, and Melanie, and Omar, Alejandra, of course. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. And Frank also too. Thank you. Good evening. Hey Omar. Everyone. Welcome. Zoom meeting. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Right. They were talking, Kenya and Lorena are co-workers, right? I think. So yeah. thank you. They were speaking about real life language experience let's call it foreign language experience okay so is this your first time speaking with somebody who doesn't speak your language spanish is this your first time for lorena and for uh, for, for yeah. me for me not teacher but i have never talk with her, with this gringa. <laughs> <laughs> they keep calling her gringa. What was her name? Pobrecita. No, we don't need to know her name. That's probably confidential. Okay. So I asked, right? Uh, who else has this experience? And uh, I mean, sorry, not me, teacher. That's what you can say. I mean, sorry, okay. is this your first, sorry, is this your first time? speaking with somebody in English, and you can say, no, not for me, teacher. This is not my first time. Thank you. Anyway, somebody else would talk the question this year? Okay. Yes, the question is, have you ever spoken with somebody else using English and only English? That's the question. Uh, I do. <laughs> I have. I do so many times. I, mean, uh, I do, yes. That's because you do all the time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I do all the time sometimes. I also practice with my boyfriend. I was born in the United States. He's also teaching to me. <laughs> uh, cool. Neat. So you do definitely, it's like a habit because you do it all the time. Nice. Yeah, actually, when I was working at the airport, because I worked over there, I used Correct. to assist people from everywhere. And it's okay. like, it's going to be like practicing with all the language. Uh, over there is when I hear about the different accent because there, there are people who pronounce, use to pronounce different. Um, obviously, you must be able to understand and catch everything that they are talking to you. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah, you told me before you work in, well, of course, airport environment. A lot of people from around the world. Very nice. Thank you. Who else? Experience. Real life. Hi, Lydia. Welcome. No, nobody else? Thank you, too. All right. Right. So, gringa experience for gringo. Well, in my Ale. case, I remember that uh, two years ago, I was working and suddenly two, no, three foreign, 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 how can what? I say for that word, foreign or foreign? Ah, oh, yes. Foreign, sorry. Foreign. 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 Yeah. Uh, three foreign people uh, arrive to my work. Uh, they are from Germany. Um, they couldn't speak Spanish. <laughs> it was very terrible because two years ago, I could understand the English, but I couldn't. Um, answer or I couldn't speak. <laughs> so I apologize to them and try to help them. They want to know how to use the ATMs. She was ATM. Oh. Okay. Um, 
Uh -huh, and they want to know if the ATMs accept uh, external wallet. So I couldn't tell them exactly, but I try to, I don't know, I try that they can get my idea. <laughs> Thank you. But yes, was I was very nervous because that was my first time speaking with uh German <laughs> with Germans. German or with, English? Uh, no, 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 English. But they with were German. from Germany. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so their their accents were very different, <laughs> and they were speaking very fast. Fortunately, I can understand, <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I was very difficult to answer them. I tried my best, but at the end it was like I was not satisfied with my with my performance. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's in your job too, so a lot of pressure because it's your job. It's not just yes. like casually or whatever, no, it's your job. So you have a lot of pressure, but yeah. you did it somehow. <laughs> That's why yes. you're here. Very good, very good. Yeah. I don't know. Did that motivate you a little bit to learn more? Did you have a doubt? Yes, it did. It did. All right, Hector, tell me. Tell me. Um, personally, we used to say American because uh, uh, when I'm talking something, I refer to all the people when born in the United States, mostly we call them North Americanos, but American in English. Is that correct if I told them gringos? <laughs> no. <laughs> to their face, no. But with us, okay. yes. Of course, with us, yes, but not directly <laughs> to them. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you would like to be called frijolero, okay, by a gringo. <laughs> I don't think no. so. Right? <laughs> So no, they too, feel but... something similar to, to that. That last day I called to some of them. Hi, are you Gringa? <laughs> oh, no. No. I what did she say? They say yes, what did she say? <laughs> yes, I am. They, exactly. They, they were so nice. That, that's my question. Because I, I, I felt a little bit confused with that. But I have to call them like, are you American, right? <laughs> or are you a US? Yeah. Uh, Wait, let me finish the, the idea with Electra, but then you go next game, right? So, with um, how to refer to somebody, because I heard, I have heard many, many people from the United States that they don't care if they're called gringos, like, I am gringo, I'm here, blah, whatever, my accent is gringo, I've, I've heard it. Yo tengo un acento gringo, pero hablo español. I've heard it many times. <laughs> so, they <I> do. <laughs> playfully, like, as a joke, right, yeah, I'm gringo, but... If you meet somebody from any other country that they look like that, don't mm -hmm. call them gringo. Maybe when you know them a little bit. That's my answer to you. And and, and when I was operating the New York flight, I saw some black um, people uh, because they were too. And then some of the day they called them uh, nigo. And I didn't know what's, what's that, but like, Three days ago, I knew that niggles is like an offensive for all of them. Yeah, that sounds racist. If you are not black, can you say it? So yeah, that's racist. Be careful. Careful, 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 man. Anyway, Kenya, you were going to say something? No, only I, I have a question. Yeah. Um, are they considered that uh, offensive? To be called gringo, I mean. Yes. Yes, I was saying that you can call them gringo, but if you know them, a little bit. So maybe not the first time, don't call, don't call them, in my opinion, professional environment. Oh, are you gringa? Because remember, the United States of America, they have a lot of, what do you think? Immigration, right? So a lot of immigration from all over the world, from France, of course, the United Kingdom, from Africa, of course, Germany, a lot of Germans, um, Irish, Ireland. 
So maybe if you call somebody, hey, gringa, but this is on the Noruega. Yeah, there were no region. Right? From, oh, sorry, in English, Norway. So you call them, hey, gringo. Hey, what's up, man? Do you want to be called Mexican, for example, Jose Fernando? Do you like to be called that or do you like to be called Argentino? No, I mean, I'm Salvadorian, okay? So be careful. A lot of people can see, you can see them like that, but maybe, maybe they are not from where you think. Uh, for example, maybe you know this, the Chinese and the Korean and the Japanese. Do you think they like to be called a Korean? Hey, Chino, eh? hey, Chino, hey, Chino. <laughs> Do you think they like that? If they are not Chinese, uh, um, no, no, they don't. So be careful. Sure. Yes. In the Belgium? Yes, sir. In the Belgium? Or with the Belgium? What do you mean? With the Belgium? Belgium. Belgium? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Belgica in Spanish. Yeah, what, what about that? Yes, uh, I have I have I have had a, a opportunity to speak in the Belgium in the partners. Sorry, in the in the uh, two people, uh, two persons, because uh, they arrived, they arrived my my job. Uh, I had to the opportunity. I I had to the opportunity to speak with them because my my coworker no speak English. I have to receive uh, receive the peoples. Oh, these people, you mean? I you had to receive or attend to your yes. customers, these customers. Yes. They were a customer. Cool. Belgium. Belgium. Yes. A, I have visited Belgium and I loved it. It's great. Belgis. It's amazing. It's really cool. And they speak French and then Dutch, German. Anyway. Nice, interesting, international experiences. Yeah, who else? We have a, well, yeah, anyway, it... did I answer your question? Sorry about the gringo. To me, my opinion, be careful. You have to be culturally aware that people who speak English, oh yes, United States, no, all over the world. You are from El Salvador, you speak English and you don't look, look at me. I don't look Chile, right? And I speak English, so. Careful. I have been called gringo before, actually. I've been called, ah, oh, you're American? No. Oh. And I look like this. Anyway, that's not the point. So to me, be careful. Culturally, you have to be culturally sensitive, I think, in my opinion, to adapt yourself. Don't call people gringo immediately. Anyway, Joseph, you were going to say something else? Excuse me? Sorry? I'm sorry, I you were going to say something, I think. Or, or not. No. no. All right, that's all. Uh, on, uh, yes, uh, it's a uh, uh, day. Uh, the, uh, the people Chinese uh, that visit my job. It's difficult to understand, understand you speak because uh, it's very strange that they speak them. It's very strange how they speak, yeah, or the way, well, any foreign person, right? Not the Chinese, but anybody. The way yeah. foreign. Is very particular. Let's not call it strange. That's too, uh, I think, negative. So the way Chinese people, right? For example, Indian people, I've worked a lot with Indian people. They speak very particularly, very difficult sometimes to understand. But it makes you I love it. <laughs> better. What? <laughs> Are you friends? I say I say that I love when I'm listening to in the accent. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very particular. It's so weird. Yeah. They have their own words, their own English grammar. They have their own very strange i mean very particular sorry very particular 
What about yeah, somebody? Yeah, we'll talk about speaking English in your real life, not with teachers here, but in your real life. Somebody else? Uh -huh. okay. What is oh Melanie? No, what about you? Yes, you have you ever yeah. spoken English? Hi, welcome. English with somebody else. Yes. Because I sorry, sorry for the sonido in the phone. No, I don't hear anything. It's okay. Um, uh, yes, because I work in a clinic, in a, a gastroclinica, and that place is very common. American people go, when? Go? When? I don't know. Go oh. because um, in that place, uh, do a medical study. <laughs> like endoscopy. Like endoscopy or something. Oh, yeah. and, and many many people uh, talk in English and I try but so, sometimes I try and they understand me but not very well so I need to learn the traductor <laughs> and I write <laughs> thank you a translator yes yes on. Yeah. Don't be shy. I know it's more e it's easier to say than to do, right? Like for Kenya, like for you. But yes, imagine again you are talking here with fifteen people around, right? And then that is only one person. Yeah. What, what was the difference? So yes, be brave. I encourage you use the language. It, it, it's great when you speak. Uh, foreign language to a person, it's to their their language, it 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 feels very nice when they try. Even if you're very very bad, it doesn't matter. They feel oh my god, they that person respects my language, right? And it's a nice thing, and it's a beautiful icebreaker. Yeah, so use it. Don't don't be too shy. You will be better. I promise. So, yes, I can only see the camera people. So, what about Jose Fernando, man? You're, you're shy today. It's strange. Have you ever spoken English to somebody? Uh, not here, of course. Not in a class. Ya la, ya la mandé. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my experience, well, recently is only with uh, videos. Uh, some information when I read some information on the internet. Yeah, of course. Mm, maybe not because usually when I need to, for example, support about some tools, for example, you need, uh, well, I remember that last year I ever, I, I, I have evaluate uh tools for for my company because we need to to buy to buy uh, uh new tools but we uh, but the the tools uh well the the the, 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 the tools was created in USA United States and but uh, when uh, I needed to call with some a person, uh, uh, the people uh, talk talk in Spanish. Oh. Then, uh, for, uh, video call, not only uh, uh, some videos, uh, videos, for example, I remember the last week, I need to search, I need to share some information about a, fun a function but only I remember I only found information in in some videos. In, but the video was in but, uh, the video uh are in uh, in English. 
and then uh, uh, I, tr I try to to listen in English, but for me it's difficult because uh, people uh, talk very fast, and and maybe it they use a lot of words, and uh, well, and, and I know I I know that that that, that this word. Then I only can watch. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thanks. Right. So in in real life, in person, you haven't used English only with video. Right. All right. You will sometime. One day. Yeah. Well, only with my uh my coaching maybe. But uh yeah, it was me maybe. Mm, four or five years ago. Right. For me, only, only, only my cousin. Are your cousin? Does he speak Spanish or only English? Yeah. Uh, well, he speaks Spanish and English. But uh, when she she talk, for example, when with my aunt, she speaking English. Because uh, she lived in in United States. Thank you. Interesting. Anyway, thank you for the experiences for from everybody. Uh, very nice. So maybe you had an experience, or maybe not. I think that if you listen to what we're saying, in my opinion, you have to take this as a motivation. Okay, motivation. I like it that some of you said that, oh my God, like I blocked myself. I couldn't make it, right? Um, or uh, that, I don't know, you're too shy, right? Or you make a lot of mistakes. Like Alejandra is very hard on herself. Like, no, my performance was really bad. No problem. That's okay. It's a motivation because that's why you're here. Yes. Otherwise, not. If you have a real life experience, really, it changes a lot. Uh, it changes you a lot. Okay. So, very good. Nice. If you see somebody who looks uh, from another country, right? Ask them, <laughs> are you from, maybe they are from Canada, okay? I don't know. So, I, I ask them first. Be more culturally sensitive, okay? Just imagine the poor Chinese or the Koreans or the Thailands, right? People from Thailand, people from Indonesia, people from Mongolia. No, oh, Chino, Chino, va? Chino, Iva, un Chino, ve, what? Mira, ve. Oh, man, come on, you have to be more aware that we all have differences, right? And similarity as well. Culturally, I mean, culturally aware is <clears throat> what I wanted to say. Anyway, yes, Spanglish. Uh, is a language. Oh, finally. And uh, so when you communicate, you can use your hands, right, to say what you want to say. So that's something you can use, right? So you're not uh, too afraid or too shy. Okay. Hey, people. Let's move on. Because we're going to do, of course, some activities, but I need you to twist your tongue a little bit. We're going to do very short tongue twisters today. Super short. Okay. What about this? It's called this one, Unique New York. But you have to say it fast Unique New York. All right. Who's next? I will put no camera people. Joseph. And Omar, Eric, where is that man? Lilia, Miranda, Laudita. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I have one experience before. Oh, yes, you tell me about Because I have, I have working in a call center, but uh, we have associates from uh, Canada, United States. Uh, Belgium, even Inglaterra, Australia, 
and they make calls at our call center. And at one time, uh, one of the one of the uh, customer service agents can't, couldn't couldn't take the call, and I, and then he asked me for help, and I and I took the call, and I and I talked with a Canadian man that uh, frightened me <laughs> because no no not because the the language. Uh, as a matter of fact, because a peculiar thing, uh, he told me that he wants a reservation in the camera for him and for his husband. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, your husband? And they, he told me, yeah, for me and my husband, yeah, okay, sir, give me the number, please, your identification, um, the days you are going to travel. <laughs> But it's a peculiar call. Yes, of course. It's not your language, for no, a start. No, no. It's not your. No, I mean your language, but then another layer of more. Yeah. Interesting new experience yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but I, I solved this. You solved okay. this. That, that's my my experience. Yeah, you solved it professionally because, of course, Pro, you asked. Prof professionally because uh, uh, I I am like a, a supervisor over there. Mm -hmm. well, uh, we are uh, uh, mature people and we understand that kind of situations. Nice, nice, very good. So yeah, it's not that. That's good. You ask that clarification question. You can ask because, of course, with phones, sometimes you have to repeat. Like, como ve, 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 ve. What's your email? Ve, te, ve. You know this, right? Yeah. Sometimes the, the letters sound the same. So it's normal. You ask. Sorry, you said your husband. Yes, my husband. And then you continue. Okay. When what day do you want a reservation, etc. etc. Yeah. Nice. You handled it very well. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Very good. Very good, very good. I like it. Nice. And you can continue with more experiences. I prefer that. <clears throat> Over the tongue twisty. Okay. Um let's move on. Yes, I think um, maybe tongue twisters later. But for now, I want to talk about something important. Uh, right now, we are in 60% of our live sessions. Sorry, exactly 60%. So we have and 11 sessions including this one so i want to remind you please connect if you can of course as a listener because of the you remember the 80 percent i think yes 80 percent in support to keep the scholarship remember this is for you so again this is 60 percent of our classes right now right so we are missing the other 40 percent of classes okay so we are more than half have done more than half done with the module okay right okay so connect uh, whenever you can please of course when you can use your cameras because it helps uh, with the interaction anyway let's uh, okay we have 16 people um, all right, let's do this. We have to talk about um, uh, yes, homework and forum one. Okay, so have you checked classrooms or not? Somebody, teacher. Yes, sir. What is the homework number one? Yes, it was the audio that we did in WhatsApp. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Everybody did it, so, well, yes. except one, I think. So, yes, that, that was that. Yes. And great. So, then we have the first forum. So, 
this, as you can see, and uh, you can see my screen, right? Hold on. Teacher, but yes. you upload that homework in the forum some minutes ago, right? Correct. Yes. 7.55. Okay. So, okay. thank you. The, maybe you're the only one who saw. So, the homework is, is this. Uh, help me read it, please. Forum 1. Forum 1. Okay. Forum 1. Please answer the following in the classroom Pla platform. Uh, write a short answer. Why are deadlines important to a retailer? Thank you. This is the front one. Correct. Forum. So as you can see here, the submissions will close. When is this? September 24. What is that? You have a calendar? Just to make it... No, not you. I mean, somebody else. When is the 24th? It's, it's on, on Sunday. Sunday. Uh, thank you, Lauren. Yes, it's on Sunday. So I put the question five minutes before the class today. But you have until Sunday at midnight to answer. So the question is, why are deadlines important to a retailer? And please use what we have learned, like obviously or... Certainly, we need uh, deadlines are important because, right? Try to use the vocabulary we learned. Uh, short answer, all right? Don't worry. Uh, questions about this? You have until Sunday. Maybe too long, maybe too much time, but we are all busy. Sometimes we can get uh, the most time we, we we can. But it's very short, honestly. It's very it's a very short thing. And. Any questions? You see, you look nervous. Why? <laughs> Don't be. Anyway, so that's for number one. <clears throat> Homework number two. And help me, somebody. Celia, hi, welcome. And, oh, yes, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing. I will share right now. Uh, help me read in, uh, reading this, please. Yes. Uh, yes, please. Homework two, WhatsApp audio. Send a short audio with two sentences using as, as, and not as, as, Respect, respectively. Yes, one of that and one of the others. Nice pronunciation. Very good. Uh, I'm going to try something. Esmeralda, hi. What's up? Esme, can you please? Hello, teacher. Evening. Uh, read this one, homework number two, one more time, please. Uh, yes, WhatsApp audio, signature audio with two sentences. Using as, uh, as and not as, as re respectively. Thank you. Okay, thank you. There is one word there that I want to see about pronunciation. Um, Kenya, help me read it one more time. Just this. It's for a reason I'm doing this, okay? Go. Yes, Kenya, you. Sorry, <laughs> uh, WhatsApp audio, send a short audio with two sentences using as, as and not as, as respectively. Thank you. I just wanted to make a little bit of an emphasis with this pronunciation. Very good. Okay. Audio, right? Pronunciation is WhatsApp audio. It sounds like August, audio, August, All right? Okay, that's it. So uh, this is an audio in WhatsApp. The deadline will be also for Sunday, same day. 
Any questions about this one? No. All right. No. And yes, I will share this on in your <clears throat> in our WhatsApp homework group so we can all have it. Okay. In one place. Um, let me do that now before something happens. Just for a moment. Yeah, we're going to do an update. Uh, sorry about that. Update to our homework because this is English for workplace. Okay. Okay, uh, I added one more thing there. Yes. Uh, which is this. So send a short audio with two sentences using as, as, and not as, as respectively, but related, related to your job. Somehow, whatever it is, but related to your job or to jobs in general. Yeah. Preferably be uh, to yours. I prefer that instead of Jorge is bigger, taller than, as tall as, no. Just do it related to your job so that it's original. Okay. Any uh, questions about this? Please, please tell me. Bleachy, bleachy. Not for me. Not for me, nice. Let's continue then. So, I will we, um, oh, uh, yes. I started with this one. Let's just do one before because we're going to do a home um, class work. All right. So, um, this one, unique New York. You have to do it fast. Unique New York. But you do it fast. Lorena, help us, please. If you are there. Unique New York. Nice. Beautiful. One more time. A Unique English. New York. Yes. Perfect. Nice. What about Jose Fernando? Help us there. Uh, Unique New York. Yeah. Easy peasy. New Unique New York. All right. Um, so easy, right? Joseph, nothing. Unique New York. Unique New York. That's it. Very good. We'll continue tomorrow with the twisties. Uh, somebody wants to try this? Besides you? Nope. All right. Let's go. So, this. Okay. Two definitions, it's only two definitions, very short, okay. So this, the point is that we have to go and discuss it in our rooms. If you have questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, I will go there into your room, all right? Let's do it now. I will put it on WhatsApp. It is WhatsApp now. And let's go. Let's go.
Can you see my screen, Eric? Yes. Okay. Uh, the activity mm -hmm. is read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding term. Okay. Warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receive, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. It's the same as a stop control. Yes, and its control is a way to maxim, maximize, maximize, and I don't know. Maximize. <laughs> ah, sorry, maximize profit mm -hmm. by getting inventory right. And sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, do you do you remember what stock means? Did you uh, see that? Stock, stock. No, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the stock is your inventory of products. Yes, I think we didn't see that. Yeah, so go to, to Super Selectos and you see, you can see this. There's stock of conflicts. So you can see the product there. The stock is what you have, the quantity of something that you have, stock. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, how can I pronounce the war warehouse? Is warehouse or warehouse? Yes, warehouse, 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 warehouse. Warehouse, perfect. Yes. Warehouse. Perfect. Okay, uh, inventory right and warehouse and management. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah. Guys, sorry, I just came in to ask you if we saw the definition of stock, just stock. Do you remember? Mm, this one, stock. No, no. Okay. No, I don't remember what is stock. Correct. Sorry. So I have to tell you what it is. Of course. So a stock is, for example, is the quantity of goods or items that you have in your warehouse, for example. So your boss can tell you, okay, what is our stock of cornflakes? Okay, what is our stock of cornflakes? And you answer to your boss, oh, we have like three containers full of that. So stock is when you manage your inventory. Okay, so it's what you have, the quantity and yeah, the quantity of things you have in your in your storage. Yeah, sorry, I didn't say that. Tell you. Uh, do you have any? Do you have any questions so far? No. Good. So for me, warehouse management is the first one. It tells you where the items are in and and the order in which they need to be picked. Yes. It's a letter B and another is a letter A. It means you know how many of the particular products you have in the one tower. Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you. Thank you, teacher. So I just wanted to ask <laughs> if if we ever gave you the definition of stock, just stock. Do you remember? No. Like the products that are available. Thank you, Celia. That's exactly it. But I went to two breakout rooms, and I am sorry I didn't tell you this. I think I, I'm sure I didn't tell you. Maybe you knew before, Celia. So, okay. One more time. What is it, Celia? What you said is, is correct. What is stock? Is the things or the products that are available? Correct. If you are a company like, I don't know, whatever, Super Selectos, right? So, your boss and you work there, your boss tells you, hey, what is our stock of cornflakes? What is our stock? And then you go and, uh, yes, boss, we have... 700 boxes of cornflakes. Yeah. So your stock is the quantity of items or products or things that you have. So stock control means, okay, okay of course, controlling the things that you have. So, yes. Sorry, I didn't make the definition before. It's super important. Anyway, please continue. I go to the other room.
the first is a stop control and the second is warehouse manage management okay okay we are agree okay we are agree <laughs> let me try to put hey guys sorry to interrupt uh, i have a question the word stock do you know what it is or did we see it in class do you know just stock just the word stock is the quantity of products correct thank you maybe maybe you knew all before but i went to two rooms um four rooms and two they didn't know because i didn't tell you so i'm sorry that's correct lorena the stock is the quantity the amount of things in this case products that you have so i said the example super selectors right you work and your boss says what is your stock what is our stock of cornflakes and then you answer right oh yes our stock is 700 boxes of cornflakes so that's what it is correct stock is the quantity of things that you have and any questions about something else Brenda or Mary? Mm. No? No, I, teacher. I have a dot, teacher. Yes. What does it mean? It's, it's a way. Where? It's stock control. It's a way to maximize profit by getting inventory. Yeah, it's a way. So a way is like a form of doing something. For example, oh, okay. yes, for example, the way she walks, right? Or the way mm -hmm. he runs, they wait, they run in a particular way, right? The yeah, way yeah. she drinks her drinks, right? Something like that, the form in which you make something. Good Thank question. You.
Waiting for the rest. Okay, right, we're back. And yes, I went to the, all the four rooms to explain, um, to define stock, which I'm sorry I didn't tell you. So, uh, what is stock? The word stock. Can you tell me, please? Just Again, just stop. Somebody? It's and... a reader stock contract? No, just stock. No. I'm I went to all the rooms to ask uh if I told you what stock means, but again, just just this. What is your definition of, of this? It's an inventory. Yeah. Yes, very technical answer, but this is correct. But what is that? What is your inventory then? What is your stock? What is your inventory? Is a count the different products, for example, cereals? Two things. Of course, in this case, it means your product, like cereals that you have. Yeah. Cereal parts. Um, yeah. It's yeah. like a, a strict control. What? No, that's later. Wait, right now we're just focusing on the word stock. Just the word stock, just that. But I just wanted to define it so we all know stock is your things, right? Your product that you have and uh, you want to, of course, sell somehow. That's what it means. The quantity is the quantity to each product in the warehouse. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, exactly. So the quantity of product that you have. That's it. It's not. It's not too complicated. But I apologize. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you exactly what it was, because a very important word to do so you can do the exercise. So, yes, I apologize for that. Anyway, let's continue. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Let, let, let's go on with the with the real exercise. Let's yes, here. This is Okay, so read the definitions below and match them. So letter A, the, what about room number four, Eric or Kenya? Whoever you want. Oh. Uh, uh, we, we thought that uh... The warehouse management, sorry, the the first one is the is letter A. Warehouse management is it tells you where the items are in the in the order in which they need to be picked. Thank you. In which they need to be picked. Right? Okay, picked. Perfect. We are actually going to see a video, maybe today, another different video about pronunciation ED, right? Is it picket, picked, or picked? I think there's another little thing. Anyway, let's continue. Um, okay, do you agree? Letter A is, uh, is the first one. It's A. Keep it quick. Is this correct or not? Agree? 
All right. Commit correct. Thank you, Jose. All right. Letter B then. Let's read number letter B. With um uh Esmeralda, Ale or Lilian. That's room number one. Um stock control for me is it means you know how many of particular products you have and when to order more. Thank you. Correct. Very similar. But uh, yeah, very important to know the definition of what stock you know, what stock is. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Um, any questions? Any other grammar? There's somebody, uh, somebody asked me something also about this. So, whatever, it's a way to do something. Do you know what it means in this context? A form. Who said that? Mm, Ale, no, yes. Please, one more time. I think it's correct, yeah. Go. A form. Like an example, maybe? Can you tell us? Um, for example, uh, So, for example, the way Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't know, kicks the ball, right? A very particular of him. The way he does it, like Alejandro said, the form he takes to kick the ball is very particular. That's an example. Or the way that person runs. The way she runs, I don't know, is very funny or very fast. But they have a way to do something, right? The way you do a presentation, the way the teacher conducts the class, right? Uh, only I can do that in my way, in my manner. Another teacher does it in a different way, a different manner. That's what it means. Okay, uh, something else? Is that something somebody asked me? Very good question. No, we good? All right, let's continue. And yes, this is a video, very short. So, yes, this video is very short about how uh, Amazon shelves this. Look at it, very interesting. It doesn't make human, human logical sense. It doesn't make too much, but the machine, makes it uh, have a sense. It was it's very interesting. Go.
Before Prime launched in 2005, one-day shipping was an ex- Sure, mute. Thank you, Ken. Right. So any questions about the video? Uh, you see, you, did you see the way they store things? Very strange, very particular. Any comments about that? Mm -hmm. It's really interesting the way that they store the things, but what, should, what is the point that they do it? Because I don't know, but my my screen was freeze and I didn't see all the video. Oh. Me too, teacher. Oh, really? It froze? Oh, oh my God. So the screen froze. Yeah, I'm sorry. Something may have happened. It, it's very short. Let's watch it again because you really have to see it to believe it. Please tell me if you have another problem or something. That did you see it properly this time? Yes. Yes. Great. So, thank you for telling me. Please, if there's a problem, just tell me. Anyway, um, great. Any comment about that? Computers, random. May I? Ale, can you go? It's interesting. It's hey. interesting because it's. Unusual. So unusual. Yeah. Thank you. Kenya, you said something? Yes, I I I saw that they they are they are very organized. Very organized, yeah. With a machine thing and yeah, a person doing uh stocking in a very, really, they just put it where, wherever they want. It doesn't matter. But the computer is the one that goes and checks and everything. To me, it's really fascinating. This thing, technology is amazing. Any other comments or something else? Before we continue. Or not. All right. Peter, how to pronounce shelves or something that like that thank you where is it oh yes okay a shelf is uh, what is it shelves. just Two describe seconds. yeah i know uh but this is the plural of this so shelf shelf and shelves Anyway, this one, the VV, this one sounds like a map. So shelves. Shelf 
shelves. So that's how you say it. You don't say shelves, no. This one sounds like a F, so like shelves. Kind of strange. Um, so that it's similar to uh, this one, Lee. And the plural is, somebody know? Leaves. Leaves, yes. But it looks like a V, but it, it really sounds a little bit more like a net, like a sound. So leaves. That's how, you, how it sounds. Don't don't read the letter V. Just pronounce the letter F and make it plural. So shells. All right. Something else? Any other comment? No, no, no. All right. Let's continue now. Oops, what was that? Right. Great. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Remember that you are using probably a device that probably connects to the internet, right? Computer phone. So all of these questions, all of these things, I, of course I'm here for you, but you can also try to, because it's a group thing we're gonna do. If because a group, one person can go and look it up online. You can do that. I mean, this is not like a test. It gives you something so you can learn what it is, what, a, what this is. You have to discuss it because these things, they look similar, may be similar, but you can, again, you can go to just Google and check out to see what the little small differences are, okay? So we're gonna Teacher, go again. Maya, Ale. What is cross docking center? Yes, um, that is the point of the exercise. That you're going to discuss it with you, what can it be? Like I said, one I said it one more time. All of these they are they look very different, uh, very similar. Sorry, very similar. Distribution center, cross docking center, and the other one, very similar. So again, I will go and help and help you with your in your group, like I do all the time, all right? So don't worry. It's again, this one is short as well. It's very short. Okay, let's do this. Rooms.
Yes. I can see the image. Well, I what I said, I will change the screen. Okay. About the question that I have now, I put an um, image, an image in the WhatsApp group as a clue for everybody. Uh, yes, teacher. I already looking in Google. Great. Mm, we finished the activities. Thank you. Yes, yeah, here. Thanks. Okay. Let me see the other groups. Sorry. Yeah, let me go see the other groups, All right? Thank you for okay. finishing. Thank you. Thank you. Mark. I'm not sure who's talking. This page is used for temporary now. Then store it. Hey guys, uh, did you see the WhatsApp? There's a little clue. Yes. Especially about cross drop. Cross docking. Yeah. All right. According to the match, uh, distribution center is correct. I think so. What do you mean? What? Uh, according distribution to distribution center? Uh huh. Distribution center is correct. According to the match, I didn't so. Mm, no, not really. So cross docking. Let's start with cross docking. Okay. So cross docking. If you see the picture in the WhatsApp group, right? Mm -hmm. So normally it's like a, each truck to a very different location, but in this place they just go to one place and then fast the distribution this distribution center then move it to the next place so it really doesn't uh, stay a long time in storage when you do cross docking it's just there so that the other company picks it up and sells it so in that case um, what do you think it is well it's not correct Teacher. Yes. Cross talking center is a mega mega warehouse. Could be a big warehouse that they don't really store everything for a long time. But yep. Oh. Big go there and then they have to distribute again to someplace else. Ah, okay. Uh, cross talking is the first. It can be named a terminal sorting centers. See? Because it's for picking up and consolidation, it is actually the last one. So, uh, so talking is three. The, it's the, key, uh, the time is, is the key here. The shorter time is, is the most important part. Okay, the holding the holding warehouse is the first. Yeah, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, let me see something. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I made a big mistake. What the hell? To be named. No, I think you were correct. I'm sorry. No, cross docking is the first one. Okay. Yeah. You said it. You had it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a mistake. Oh, In no. the second is a distribution. No. Holding warehouse in the last one, distribution center. Yes, correct. <laughs> everything was correct. I'm sorry. Yes, Thank I think you had it everything correct. Okay, good. Let me see the last group and then we go back.
I can do it. Yep, we finished. <laughs> but the meanings are very very similar right so if you see the the photo the picture in the in the whatsapp is we are not sure yeah there is so similar Like the meme Spider-Man señalándose los tres, it's like this. <laughs> Exacto. <laughs> you are mute, <me> teacher. <laughs> yes. The Spider-Man meme I was saying like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Si están buenas, podemos salir 30 minutos antes. Right. <laughs> right. Then you have to pay. Teacher, it's confused. Yes. The definition. It's confusing. <laughs> confusing. It's confusing. Yes. I know, I told you. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to solve it. It's like a uh, pies. What is the name of the na a new pies? It has a different name, right? And the name is Avanzo. Avanzo. Yes. Wow. And did you do Avanzo or not? Did you guys? Uh, I I did I did pie the pies. Excellent. Very Avanzo good. no because it's I I I am older. Yeah, <laughs> Old <person. laughs> <Yes>. Very older. <laughs> <laughs> just just kidding. Okay, Avanzo. Okay, yeah, I didn't even know the name Avanzo. You see how old <laughs> I am? All right, let's go back then. Let's go back. Okay.
welcome, buddy. All right. Yes, like I said, very similar. Yeah, almost the experience. <clears throat> We're all similar. Uh, very similar, but not the same. Okay. Let's see. Right. All right, after this, this the last exercise, don't worry. Then we're gonna watch a video and then we finish with tongue twisters, okay? Don't worry, your brain will not explode tonight, I think. Okay, so three type of basic, uh, basic types of warehouses. All right, let's start with the traditional, okay? Uh, number two, this one here. Somebody please help me read from the group. Any group. Number four. Kenya, Daniel, Eric. Okay. The, the instructions or the. Oh, uh, yes, please. I'm sorry. The instructions first. Yep. Okay. Uh, the, following, the following are basic types of warehouse, match the type of warehousing to the to its definitions thank you please read uh, this here the second definition okay traditional warehouse whose whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage thank you so this definition is the one that we think when we see a, an image like this like this where when we see the picture like this, <clears throat> yeah, the first thing we think, well, I do at least, it's just a normal warehouse, right? They store things, okay? So, for example, Coca Cola, right? I think the Coca Cola, they have huge amounts of stock of Coca Cola, and the Coca Cola can be there for one, three months four months, and it can be there for one week for distribution for your Cuba Libre, right? So that is the most traditional type of warehouse. Uh, what is the definition? What do you think? Holding warehouse, I mean the warehouse, traditional warehouse. Uh, we, we thought that is the holding warehouse. Thank you. Um, okay, so the little, uh, so like this, a little bit more clear, I think, like this. Yes. Okay. All right. Somebody else, do you have another opinion? I saw different opinions there in, in the WhatsApp group. Or does everybody have yes. the same? What? No, it's the same. Yes. Okay, so we started with the most traditional basics, let's say. So holding warehouse, you just the name, right? Holding means to hold something. So they hold it. That's it. No, no fancy thing. Okay. So then I want to go with the next one, with number, uh, uh, but this serves. Number two. Uh, wait, uh, what? Yeah, Joseph, please read it. This one, the the, uh, the third, third one. These separate large regions in the goods are stored short a time. Most of it is used for picking and the consolidation orders. Yes, picking consolidation orders. So I uh, shared an image in WhatsApp. Right? In the mini distribu distribution centers. Let's see. Uh, you mean like this? Like this? Yes. Yeah, okay. Let me check something really quick. I agree with their with her answer. With his answer. His answer. Yes, thank you. So a distribution center. So 
bigger warehouse. I think this is, uh, somebody mentioned a, me a mega warehouse. So out of the three, I think this is the mega warehouse because it's a big distribution. It says regions, right? And it doesn't say country or anything like that. It says regions, or bigger. And sorry, no. Yes, sorry. The regions, uh, picking, picking and consolidation order. So, okay, yeah. That's, that's right, I think. Let's see what the number three then, please. Uh, it can be named a terminal of shared center. The focus is only on receive, receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. And this is cross stacking center. Thank you. So you said named, right? And we have the words, um, oh yes, used. This one, used. The pronunciation of ED is this one, used. And here it is the, it is named, and this one, used. Remember, we saw a video about that, and we're going to watch another today, because I think this is one of the most basic things that we, and no, it's not basic. You need to, we need to practice this a lot because we read it in Spanish, right? So we always pronounce it in Spanish. So don't worry, we will fix this. With me, we fix it, okay? Anyway, so this is the answer like this. And that's correct. Let me show you the next uh, slide. But this is this is how you see it here. That's that's correct. And now the slide here, just an illustration, right? Cross decking on the right, and on the left, all the the trucks have to go a long way many times to their store. But if they go to a cross docking center, easy. They just bring it there, they go back, and other another service comes and, and brings the thing. It's very efficient. Okay, any questions about this? Or about anything at all, about anything? No personal questions. The rest is fine. All right, great. So let's do this. No more questions. We're gonna do uh, watch a video, another really good video about ED. It's something that, particularly for us Spanish speakers, I insist so much. I insist it's okay. It's normal. This is a very extremely common mistake. So that's why we're gonna see this. All right. Please tell me if you don't see it. If it's freeze, it's bit. If it freezes or something. Uh, okay, let's go. So it's like some minutes, please here. I think really, come on, try to pay attention again. No more exercises. Don't worry, just don't twist it at the end. But these things, please pay attention to it. Really, it's important. From mm, English. Today I want to share an important tip to help you improve your English pronunciation. Actually I'll share a couple of tips but they all relate to the pronunciation of past tense regular verbs. Now the spelling of regular verbs is easy. You just take the regular verb and you add a D or an ED to the end of the infinitive form. So some examples, want becomes wanted, ask becomes asked, and rain becomes rained. Or if the verb actually ends in a Y, then usually we replace that Y with an I and then add ED. Spied and replied. But the pronunciation of these simple verbs is not quite that simple. 
but that's okay. We're gonna spend some time today going over three simple rules that you need to remember to help you pronounce these verbs correctly. But before we get started, I wanna ask you a question. Have you subscribed to the M English channel yet? Yes? Awesome. Make sure you let me know in the comments so that I can give you a virtual high five just to thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's so simple. All you need to do is hit that. I'm going to put it up here for you. Since we're talking about regular verbs in this lesson, it will be helpful to compare the pronunciation between regular verbs and irregular verbs. So check it out after you watch this lesson. Okay, past tense regular verbs. So for regular verbs, the form is the same in the past simple and the past participle forms. Handy, right? The first thing that you need to know is that there are actually three different ways to pronounce the ED at the end of a past tense verb. Uh-huh, three. It, d, and t. The good news is there are three simple rules to remember that will help you to pronounce these words correctly. Firstly, ed can be pronounced as id. So this is an unstressed vowel sound and it creates an extra syllable which is always unstressed. So the sound is short and it's low in pitch. And it's pronounced like this when the regular verb in its infinitive form ends in a T or a D sound. Need becomes needed. Last. Try to pronounce it. Even if you're in mute, try to. Needed, then lasted. Becomes lasted. Plead becomes pleaded. Accept becomes accepted. Waste becomes wasted. And wait becomes weighted. Okay, so these ones are kind of simple. The extra unstressed vowel sound makes them quite easy to pronounce. Waited. Needed. The other two ways to pronounce the past tense regular form don't include that vowel sound, which means that it doesn't create this extra syllable and it does create a cluster of consonants at the end of the word. And as many of you know, a cluster of consonants, that's a, a group of consonants, can often be really quite difficult to pronounce. So let's take a closer look. When a verb in its infinitive form ends in a voiced consonant sound, we pronounce the ed at the end of the word as d. Not id, but d. D, d, d. There's no vowel sound there, right? But what's a voiced consonant sound? I can hear you asking. Well, I've already got a lesson that explains this in more detail right here, but I'll give you the short version right now. These are the voiced consonant sounds. G as in good, U as in love, R as in red, N as in vet, Z as in zoo, W as in well, n as in new, n as in mum, n as in sing, the n at the end, z as in this, z as in vision, and j as in jam. Right, so if the infinitive verb ends in one of these sounds, then the ed is pronounced as d. Allow, ending in the w voiced consonant sound, becomes allowed. Not allowed, no. This is a really, really common error. It's not allowed, but allowed. It's not sailed, 
but sailed, waved, rained, rubbed, loved, gazed, judged. Ooh, I see a mistake. Rubbed, rather like this. Anyway, the rest is, is correct. Okay, so a quick note on my Australian accent. In Australia, we don't pronounce the final R consonant sound when it follows a vowel sound. So this is the same for standard British English pronunciation. You can learn more about the differences in accents in this video here, where I talk about the differences between American and British English. But this difference in pronunciation, it doesn't affect the pronunciation rules for past tense regular verbs because vowel sounds are also voiced sounds, just like the er sound. <laughs> so regardless of whether you pronounce the er or not, the ed will be pronounced as a d sound, like feared and feared. That's, again, my excellent, excellent American accent. <laughs> but this also means that if a regular verb ends in a vowel sound, like spy, for example, then the ed is pronounced as a d as well. Spied, not spied. Okay, rule number three. When a verb in its infinitive form ends in an unvoiced consonant sound, we pronounce the ed as a t. So not id, not d, but t, 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 t. So that is an unvoiced sound. So again, there is no vowel sound. It's a single consonant sound that is added to the end of the infinitive verb form. So some of the unvoiced consonant sounds are the p in tape, s in face, ch in watch, sh in wash, f in laugh. Now this can be a little tricky when the verb form already has a cluster of consonants at the end, like the sk in ask or the x in relax. So ask becomes asked. Relax becomes relaxed. So these are a little tricky because they have a crazy group of consonants at the end that you've got to try and get your tongue around. Okay, a quick review before we practice. If the verb in the infinitive form ends in the sound t or d, it's pronounced id. If the verb in the infinitive form ends in a voiced sound, then the ed is pronounced as d. And if the verb in its infinitive form ends in an unvoiced sound, then we pronounce the ed as a t sound. If you want to improve your pronunciation and sound more like a native English speaker, then you really need to work on pronouncing these past tense verbs correctly. They're so simple and so common. Wanted, needed, ed, ed. loved, sailed, d, d. asked, laughed. T, t. Okay, so before we finish, Let's practice with a few sentences because it's easy to practice these words when they're on their own, right? It's much more of a challenge when spoken quickly in a sentence, right? Have you noticed the verbs here? And have you been thinking about the correct way to pronounce them? Hated wasted, starved. She hated to see good food wasted while others starved. 
She hated to see good food wasted while others starved. What verbs can you see there? Waited, sailed, laughed, realised, escaped. He waited until the ship sailed away and then laughed when he realised he had escaped. He waited until the ship sailed away and then laughed when he realised he had escaped. Last one. Misjudged, seemed, phoned. I think I misjudged his character. He seemed pleasant and professional when I phoned him yesterday. I think I misjudged his character. He seemed pleasant and professional when I phoned him yesterday. Well, that's it for this lesson, I'm afraid. I hope that you've learned a couple. Right. Let's see. Let's see if we remember. <clears throat> okay, just one fast pronunciation. Have you noticed the? Uh, right. What about that? Let's try this. Uh, Kenya, come on. Overcome the fear. Let's go. I cannot hear you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she hated to see good food wasted, west wasted, while others starved. Wow! Very <laughs> good, amazing, perfect. Okay, the other. Um, just gonna just the people I see here, right? And yeah, so Fernando, try this one a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, he waited until the ship sailed away and then laughed when uh, he relayed and he had escaped. Nice. Very good. Mm, with laughed and escaped, the t at the end you have to do it. Laughed, escaped. Let's see this Let's girl. See. Uh, let me see something. But very good, man. You say you had three perfect, just two, right? Laughed. This one laughed and escaped. Very good, man. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Then, um, see. Last one. Uh, one of the most difficult in the world. Hey, Francisco Ernesto, you go. I will help you with this word, only with this one. Super difficult, I know. So it's pronounced misjudged. 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 Yes. With with T uh, the, in the end. With... Misjudged. Yeah. Correct. I I think I, I misjudged his charter. He seemed pleasant and professional when I found he him yesterday. Nice, very good. Yes, very good. I like it that you did something important. I forgot to say, but you made an exaggeration of the id. But that's good. It's good because it will help you with your muscles to remember, right? In the future, of course, in real life, to the gringa or gringo, don't tell them this because it sounds kind of weird. But here for practice, perfect, man. Seemed, phoned. Also, if you do it like that, Francisco, you will not forget. Okay, so very good. Congratulations. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. I, very good. Misjudged. A very difficult pronunciation with the jid thing. Look at how it right. It looks like uh, Greek. Misjudged. Amazing people. All right. For this last minute, the easiest of easiest tongue twisters. This one. 
And is anybody there? Try it. Somebody? Is it Fernando? Yeah. Why not? Greek grapes. Greek grapes. No, I need you to move your, your mouth a little bit more. Greek grapes. Greek grapes. Right? Almost. Greek, Greek grapes. grapes. Yes. Greek. Greek. Greek grapes. Move a lot. It looks easy, huh? <laughs> Kenya, try it. Two words. Greek grapes. Mm. Greek, Greek grapes. <laughs> Yeah. Greek grapes. Greek yeah. grapes. Greek. Sounds like Greek, but it's a K. So Greek grapes. Greek grapes. I, yes, I was going to say Aista, but no, I'm not going to say Aista. All right. Jose, Jose, Joseph, try it, man. Greek grapes. Mm, good. But remember, it's a K. Greek. Ah, uh, Greek grapes. Better. Greek grapes. Greek grapes. There you go. Perfect. Oh my God. Beautiful. And what about uh, who's missing? Francisco was it or Jose Fernando? I don't remember. Greek grapes. Nice. Again, faster. But that's perfect. But faster. Gre Greek grapes. Nice. Very good. Remember, these are words in Spanish. No, we don't really have it. No. These sounds, I don't think so. Pack. Tack. No, we. I don't. I don't know. We, in my opinion, we don't have these sounds, so they're very different for all of us. Alejandra, I see you there. Try it. Greek grapes. Yes, open eyes. Mm, okay, Greek grapes. Uh, Greek. Remember the K, very strong. Greek, Greek grapes. grapes. Yes. There you go. There you go. Thank you. And that is it for this evening. There is no more questions. We see you tomorrow. Yes. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night, you. Have a good night. Thank you, Joseph. You too. Hi. See you. Hi. See you too.